Hello and welcome to Jane's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Yes, Wednesday, I'm here today. Hello and welcome to the channel. What do we do here, Mum? Today we do some cooking. Yes, um, but also we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food, Malaysian, <laughs> that's what I was looking for. Malaysian street food and Chinese food at home. Yeah, it's still under cooking, isn't it? Cooking, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Today, what are we doing? Today we're doing uh, curry. Uh, curry. No, it's not curry. No, 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 it's not. It's Chicken and tomatoes today. <laughs> no, we're doing curry. We're doing chicken curry. Oh, okay. We're doing chicken curry today. Yeah. We we're showing you how to use the, the best paste that we made in the last video, uh, how to make it into the best chicken curry. So, yes. Stay tuned. Tomato chicken is the next video. Oh. <laughs> That's what was it for that. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, we'll get on with that. Yeah. Get on with it, we are. Definitely. Yeah. Don't go away. Yeah, can I turn that off now? Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so you can see here we've got chicken thigh. We prefer chicken thigh, don't we? Yes, we cut it into cubes. So to this, we're going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, the same amount of MSG. Yeah, in it go, MSG. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a heaped teaspoon of potato starch. We use potato starch because it's just more chemically stable than cornstarch. It doesn't cook out as well. And if you're using it for crispy stuff, it gets a little bit crispier, but you can use cornstarch if you don't have potato starch. Then about two teaspoons of light soy. A teaspoon of vegetable oil. You can put white pepper into this if you want, but I think it conflicts with the curry flavor. It's up to you. If you like that, then by all means do it. We just don't think it tastes good, but you might obviously. And at the end of the day, whatever you want to cook, that's all that matters. That's right, we are here just to guide you. Precisely. This yes. is all mixed up. We're going to let that sit for about 20 minutes, overnight if possible, but yeah. Right, so to the pan, we've added a teaspoon of that flavored aromatic oil that we showed you how to make. If you don't know how to make it, link will be up there. Just let it heat up a bit. It shouldn't take too long. Especially if you're using one of these, we've got a fillet link to one of these induction cookers below. They're really, really, really good. Yeah. Especially if you don't have gas in your house. So if you'd like to support the channel and say thank you for all the free content we give you, uh, head over to our web store where we sell all the products on there. Cheaper than most online supermarkets, including postage. Now this is super hot. We're gonna put in your chicken. Let it sizzle away. Yeah, we want to brown this off. When, turn, when the chicken goes in there, you want to turn the heat down, otherwise you'll burn the outside of this. So, when the chicken is done, we're just going to put this to the side. In goes another tablespoon of that seasoned oil. And when it's hot, in go your onions. Yeah, all in. Yeah. When these start browning, we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of MSG, Garlic, and then you want to turn the temperature down when your garlic goes in so it doesn't burn. Now in goes your paste. We've got two Chinese spoons of paste here. Oh. The video on how to make that is in the link above. Just warm the paste up again. Yeah. You can see it's loosened now when it's warm. In goes your chicken. Yeah. Get all them in. You can just smell that curry. It smells fantastic, doesn't yeah. it? And then we're just going to add water. So about, so about 200 millilitres of water I just added then. Sorry, I was concentrating on how much was going in. And then we're gonna add in some coconut block. We're using Pride, which we sell on the web store. You don't have to add that. It's already quite coconutty because it's in the paste, but we like that extra punch. And normally you don't have to thicken this because the coconut um, thickens it itself. And we're gonna hit it with a couple of, of hot chili flakes. Yes. So about a teaspoon's worth. That's just our preference. And just slowly, just let it cook for a few minutes. Yeah. You can see that curry is thickening itself. So as you can see, this is naturally thickened up without any um, potato starch. Well, the flour in the water. The, the flour, yeah, in the paste, sorry. And then to this, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of sugar and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then a couple of drops of dark soy, and this is just for color. The dark. 
That wasn't Dark Soy. <laughs> this is Dark Soy. Yeah, it's just for colour. Yes. Looking good. Now it's ready to serve up. And that's what it should look like finished. So here we go. Oh, the bowl is hot. Yeah. Mmm. Could smell the coconut coming through. Mmm. So chill. It's good. Mmm. And it's smooth and it's creamy. It's just a good curry. Mmm. If you've got a bit of rice with it. Yeah. Much better with rice than that. Yeah. Or you can dip it with bread. You know, oh. the crusty bread. We don't have any bread. No. Well, that's rubbish. <laughs> the chicken is just so velvety. The curry sauce is so nice, so I'm kind of eating it like soup. <laughs> it's just full of flavour. Sorry. <coughs> Can you write that? <coughs> the chilli caught a minute. Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh. That happened to me the other day. Oh no, that was, I was eating toast, wasn't I? Thanks for watching, guys. Here is how to use the best paste to make the best chicken curry. I really hope you try this out. It's lovely. It's really... So flavorful, yeah, smooth at the same time. Yes. So yeah, take care guys. Mum? Happy cooking, happy eating. Oh, I forgot to say, make sure you check out our shorts channel. Daily videos on there. Now. Hit the like button. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. Happy cooking, happy eating. There we go. Take care.